Do you guys want to know a life-changing hack that can save you thousands of dollars on laser hair removal and not to mention hours of pain? Plus, this is coming from a board-certified dermatologist. This guy. This is called Cypress Oil. Not example of expert uh, citing a mighty research so let's have a look i will cover efficacy and safety for efficacy we need a good quality data to show us that this oil actually works so you can feel confident recommending it for the millions of people right actually most of those experts don't care and they want your click that germ cited this mighty paper that is full of red flags Let's start with the author that published a lot about this oil. Five publications that I was able to find. And in my opinion, there was a try to make this oil a wonder oil. Because let's read the titles. Genital whitening with topical cypress oil enhanced sexuality and quality of life. The effect of cypress oil in reducing the side effect of laser hair removal. Topical cypress oil for treatment of axillary hyperpigmentation, and lastly, topical cypress oil, a new therapeutic modality with comparable efficacy for Alex laser photoebulation. The last study was published in 2014. Keep that in mind. Now let's address the bigger red flags that which, in my opinion, if someone ignore these, they either have never critically evaluated a paper in their life or they are engaging in science washing, citing studies they haven't fully carefully read to build the credibility with their audience. And if they advise their followers based on this, trusting them just because they have a title become a questionable act. Take a look at these two pictures. Do you notice anything suspicious? The top image actually is from 2014 study that the dermatologist referenced as mighty, while the bottom one comes from 2012 study by the same author. You are not mistaken, it's the exact same picture used in two different publications. In the newer 2014 publication, the background was removed, but not carefully. You can still see the pink undershirt, which provide more evidence. If you zoomed in, you will eventually spot this sad, lonely hair in the after images in both studies in the same location. Do you know what that is? It's called fraud, or in more sciencey terms, data falsification. The fact that the dermatologist is citing research of this quality makes me question everything. There is a significant lack of care for online communities seeking education from experts. When those experts produce clickbait, low quality and scientifically questionable content just for clicks and oh look what I discovered moments. I'm starting to believe that the more clickbait the content is, the more care you need to be. See you in part two to talk about safety.